Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a favorite video and this is my favorite eyeshadows of this year, 2019 and uh, I am not even sure if these are my favorite eyeshadows of this year. It has been so hard. I have changed the palettes more than once, maybe five times, but I think I know I think I'm satisfied with the choices I've made, maybe. So I have five palettes that I want to talk about and why I only picked five is because, I don't know, I wanted to take palettes that I bought this year and uh, I haven't bought that many palettes this year. So I think we just get started and we can start with, I don't know in which order, Okay, I can add this as well. Last year, 2018, was the year where I discovered color. I, Before that, I didn't use that much different colors on my eyes. Now I'm maybe not that crazy colored either, but I only did like neutral makeup. And 2018 was the year when I discovered color. And 2019? has been the year when I discovered green and you will see that. <laughs> so I am going to show you my five favorite palettes this year. I think it has been so hard. Um, but yeah, I think we just hop into this. So the first one we can start with is the one that I have used today to create this look. And this is not the palette, but this is some of my absolute favorite shades shadows this year and that is from Lethal. I did this little baby, this customized palette and I really really love those colors. I love those shadows. I want to buy more from Lethal next year. Today I have used all these three and these are like amazing. They are so easy to work with. They are so pigmented and I really really like them. So I want to buy so many more from Lethal next year. It's going to be dangerous to not have a low buy anymore. But yeah, I have really really loved Lethal and if you haven't tried Lethal, do it because they are so so good. And then to one of my absolute favorite brands and this was the hardest I think. And I am of course talking about Kaleidos. I have bought three palettes from them this year and got two in PR. And these are some of the best eyeshadows I have ever tried. I really love Kaleidos. I was amazed the first time. I have been amazed by all the palettes. So it was so hard to pick one. This favorite video with my favorite eyeshadow palettes could easily be the five from Kaleidos, but I was like, okay, I'm going to pick one of them. And I have switched this out so many times. But I decided to go with the VR Neon. This is number four and it looks like this. I love this palette. I love it so, so much. This yellow is so, so good and these two shimmer are amazing. So this has absolutely been one of my absolute favorite palettes this year, among with the other four. But this one, it's unique for me. Um, it's so small, but it has an amazing color story and all the colors really goes together. And I think this is the best palette Kaleidos have done. This or this high fair green. I can't decide. Okay, I have decided for this, so now we go with this Biernia. And the palette that I tried early this year, and I think I said in that this might going to be one of my absolute favorite palettes this, this year, and it has been. It is my favorite palette from US Place, and it is, of course, the Tri palette. I I love this palette. I want to use it so much more, but like, I I haven't done a palette bingo with this. Maybe I should do that because I have done a first impression and a free looks one palette. It looks like this. This shade, amazing. This shade, amazing. 
this shade amazing 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 this is the absolute best palette from US Place I really really love it it is just perfect and it has some really unique shades and it's just so so good and the last two palettes comes from another brand that is new for me this year and I love both of these. I really don't know which one of them I love the most but it is of course Ace Boutai and um, we can start to talk about a flare palette. This one I... it was Betty Jean that made me buy this and this is so nice. I really love this orange of course and this shade love it. This is such a good palette. I really love Ace Boutet's formula. When people say they don't like it, I'm like, what? What don't you like about it? It is pigmented. It's easy to work with. I really, really love this and I am doing a free looks one palette of this and I am so much looking forward to it. And the last palette I want to talk about is of course the Oceanic palette also from Ace Boutique. and I didn't know if I wanted to buy this or the Infinity 2 from Certify but I'm so happy that I went with this. I have done palette bingo, first impression, have I done, uh, maybe I did a palette bingo with Jessica and a first impression. Have I done anything more with this? I don't know. But this one This Anemone, I think this can be my absolute favorite shade of the year. Just look super bad to hold mirror like that. Just look at this. It's like this grungy shade that always comes like a matte, but this is shimmer and I love it so so much and also I really like this one and this has been like I want to use this so so much and this is green and blue and it's like I love this I love this so much I thinking about maybe doing a palette bingo with these two and do I sitting a little bit to the side Fuck. this I can really recommend this if you want a green and blue palette buy this because it's amazing this is my top black black this is my top green and blue palette of the year and one of my top five this year and also I love the packaging of this everything is so good with this so that was all for this video I really hope you liked it I don't know if this is my last favorite video of this year because I I have done a lip favorite, a base favorite. Maybe I should do a skincare favorite. Do you want to see a skincare favorite? If you want to, I will. Maybe I will do it either way. Because I want to. But yeah, these were my five favorite palettes of 2019. I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!